This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can take text and wrap it around a circle using GIMP. So let's go ahead and get started here in GIMP. The first thing I want to do is create a new document. So we'll go to File, New, and I'm going to size this document at 1280 by 1280 pixels. I'll come down here to Advanced Options and we just want to make sure where we have um, background color set to where it says Fill With. So just go ahead and choose background color. It should be there by default, but if not, go ahead and select that. Then go ahead and click OK. And we're going to have this new document here. Now I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can see the entirety of the canvas. I'm going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel a couple of times just so I could zoom out and see that. And what I want to do now is add some guides to the document. So I'll go to View. No, I'm sorry. We'll go to Image, Guides, and New Guide by Percent. And I want to choose vertical and 50% and go ahead and click OK and it's going to put a vertical guide at halfway through the page. And it'll do the same thing horizontally. So we'll go to image, guides, new guide by percent and I'll choose horizontal and again 50% go ahead and click OK and you should now have two guides horizontally and vertically going halfway through the page dividing it into fours like that. And then finally I just want to come over here to where it says view and make sure we have snap to guides selected. It should be set there by default, but just go ahead and check that anyway, just to make sure it's rather important. So once we've done that, what we can do is we can grab the circles and ellipses tool, or just the ellipse tool rather, ellipse select tool, click on that, and bring the cursor over to the intersecting area between the two guides, and then click and drag to create to start creating an ellipse, and then hold control and shift so it makes a perfectly symmetrical ellipse like that, and then release it somewhere about halfway through the page. Right about there is pretty good. And once we've done that, I'm going to go to Select, and I'm going to choose To Path. And that's going to create a path from the selection. And what we could do now is go to Select, None. And then we can come over here to our Layers menu. And at the top of the Layers menu, you'll see these three different boxes. One that says Layers, this one that says Channels, and this one that says Paths. We want to go ahead and click on that box that says Paths. And it's going to show us the paths that we have, which is this one that we just created. I'm going to click on the Eyeball icon over here to activate that so we can now see that red circle. That is our circular path and we're going to be wrapping our text around that path. So let me click back on the layers box to get back to our layers and I'm going to grab the text tool now and I'm going to create two lines of text. One line of text is going to wrap around the top portion of the circle and the other line of text is going to wrap around the bottom portion of the circle. So we're going to create two separate lines of text. We're not going to create it all on one line. We have to do it separately. So to do that, we have the text tool. Go ahead and choose your font over here. You can click on this. I'm just using League Gothic. I already have the size set 107. You can adjust the size to make it fit accordingly. I'm using 107 spacing. You may have to adjust the spacing a bit as well. I'm keeping mine at five. Go ahead and write some text here. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm using the uh, words wrap your text. And again, you could double click it to select everything. And then you could change the size over here. You can change the spacing and so on. And once you've done that, that's for the top. I'm going to come down here and create some more text. The bottom line is going to be around a circle. Now let me just grab the move tool and bring that out of the way. I'm going to bring this, oops, wrong thing. I'm going to grab the text and just move this out of the way. It doesn't matter where it is. I just would rather be away from that circle. It makes life easier. So once we've done that, I'm going to take the bottom line, which is around a circle, which is this layer up here, and I'm going to right click that and I'm going to go to text along path. And if you notice, it's going to create a path going along the bottom or the inside of the circle like that. And once we've done that, I can turn off the visibility of that text layer because we don't need that anymore. And I'm going to create a new layer with this button that says create a new layer and edit to the image. We're going to use transparency. Go ahead and click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over to this paths menu and you're going to notice there's going to be a new path created from that text. And I'm going to right click that layer and go to path to selection. And I'm going to fill it in with the color that we have selected as our foreground color. So if you'd like to use a color other than black, go ahead and open up your color menu here and change your color now. Otherwise, just I'm just going to use black like uh, for this. So we'll go to edit, fill with foreground color. Then we'll go to select none and then I'm going to go ahead and delete that path now because we don't need that anymore. I'm going to click the button that says delete this path and I'll come back over to the layers menu 
And what I want to do now is just rotate it around so it's at the bottom of the circle. So I'm going to grab the rotate tool. I'm going to grab the text. I'm just going to rotate that around until it's at the bottom of the circle like that. Go ahead and click enter. Press enter to finalize that. And then I just want to adjust the layer so that it's back to the size of the canvas. So I'm going to go to layer and layer to image size. And that portion of the text is now finished. So what we could do now is we come back over to our layers dialog. We're going to take this text and we're going to do the same thing. But the problem is, let me show you here. If I apply this, if I right click this and go to text along path, it's going to apply it to the inside of the circle as well, which doesn't make sense because we can't put it at the top of the circle. We need to reverse the direction of the path so that the text is going along the, the outside of the circle. So to do that, let me first undo that. To do that, what we want to do is we want to come over here to the flip tool. And where it says transform, make sure you choose path right here. We're going to choose path and then bring your cursor over to that red circle and go ahead and click it. Now when you click it, nothing's going to happen on your screen. But what happened internally is that it reversed the direction of the path. So what I'm going to do now is close out of that tool. Make sure you select layer again just so that it doesn't default back to path next time you try to use that tool and you're wondering why it doesn't work. So, all right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, where it says wrap your text, I'm going to right click that layer and go to text along path again. And now it's putting it along the outside of the circle. And what we could do now is just repeat the steps that we did for this one. We can create a new layer. Click OK. Turn off the visibility of that other text layer. Come over here back to the uh, paths tool. I mean to the paths menu. Right click on that layer and go to uh, path to selection. Now we can go ahead and delete that layer or that path rather and go to edit fill with foreground color and then select none. And then finally we come back over here to our layers menu. We'll go to the rotate tool and then just go ahead and click on that text to rotate it around so that it's at the top of the circle like that. Go again, just press enter and then go to layer, layer to image size. And then we can actually go back to that pads menu and we can just turn off the visibility of that or you can delete it if you want. Either way, we're finished with it. And that's how you can wrap text around a circle using GIB. Now, if you notice here, there's no actual circle here. If you want to add a circle back, what you could do is you can go to the background layer, right click on it and go to add alpha channel and then press delete on your keyboard to get rid of that background there. So now it's transparency. Now it's a checkerboard. You can export this as a PNG graphic and import it into some other graphic that you're working with. Or you could just add a circle to it now. You can click on the uh, ellipse select tool, bring the cursor over to the uh, intersecting area of the guides, click and drag, then hold control and shift, make your circle a little bit bigger than your text, and then go to edit. I'm going to fill with background color because if I fill it with the foreground color, we're not going to see the black text up against the black background. So I'll click fill with background color, and there you go. We can go to select none and there you have it we have a circle with some text wrapped around it using gimp so if you have any questions let me know and as always thanks for watching